most of the Muslims are either terrorists or him growing up in that household, his father would always talk about how the black people caused trouble in the streets of London because there were two families growing together. So kids from that home, kids from this home, so they grew up together. So I can clearly see that why John thinks that Muslims are terrorists. Like, I don't know where I am. So this will help you uninstall those toxic beliefs and if this is like a computer program to make space for a new software you have to get rid of the old software Wrong. so this belief is destroyed or uninstalled <music>
when a Jew or a Christian or people from other faith does any, anything like that, he's always a gunman or like you know, somebody with a mental health issue. Then uh, about these black people, there are like you know, millions of black people around the world who are law abiding and who lives a peaceful life and who wants a peaceful life. In fact, most of the people who uh, fled African countries and are now in Europe or England or America uh, are there in, like, you know, in pursuit of a peaceful life in the first place. There are thousands and thousands of people in London alone, like black people, who are contributing to the economy, who are making things work for them, who are paying taxes. So he ignores that fact because his father had been telling him from the beginning, from the childhood, that black people commit crimes. Uh, Spanish people, definitely, there are good or bad people everywhere. So there would be bad people in Spain as well. But he, like, he has never been told or he has never come across a bad person from Spain. So he doesn't think so. Now, uh, you might have some similar beliefs about people or things and you want to reprogram your mind. This is like a computer program. If you want to make space for a new software, you have to uninstall the previous software. And I'm going to give you a four step formula to accomplish that. It sounds easy, but it's not that easy. But it's not that difficult either. If you keep up with it, if you start doing it from this day on, you can accomplish that as well. Step number one out of those four steps. Step number one is say no to generalization. Whoever tells you something, whether it's your family, friends, elders, the media, the society, whoever tells you something, okay, and it has an element of generalization, say no to that. By that I mean, for example, if somebody tells you like, you know, people from that city, they are all like that, okay, that's a generalization alert. Okay, if it's about, it's not just about people, if it's about your personal goals, for example, uh, you say that I want to become a successful businessman and somebody tells you, you know what, like, you know, most of the people fail, generalization alert. So whenever you are fed something like that and you sense it, you say no to generalization. That takes you to the next step and that is read and research. Now research is based on a question. When you grow up, like you become 14, 15, 16 year old, you are mature enough to start questioning things. So if there is a generalized concept, okay, start asking questions and your go find answers. And how you find answers? By doing research. Research is based on a question. Go read books, go read online, go, go to YouTube, Google, whatever source you may find. Go and research that thing. Is that a fact? You will always find that, no, that was a generalization, that was not a fact, okay? The third step is the most important one, and that is uninstall toxic beliefs. Now, the first step, generalization, no to generalization, and the second, asking questions and coming up with answers. Don't just ask questions because it will lead you to nothing. It will just make you confused if you start asking questions and do not seek answers. When you are coming up with answers, okay, that automatically will start accomplishing that third step, which is uninstalling toxic beliefs because now you have more information, you have more answers, okay? So this will help you uninstall those toxic beliefs. Once those toxic beliefs start uninstalling, automatically it will leave space for updated and better beliefs. For example, if somebody tells you that people from Africa are like that, okay, and you spot generalization, you say no to generalization, you start reading about those people and research them, you come up with answers, okay, the answers prove that theory or that generalization wrong, this belief is destroyed or uninstalled, and a new belief is installed that no, not everybody is like, you know, like that. You cannot base a whole nation or uh, what do you say, a whole race based on the an action, actions of a select few, okay? So these are the four steps. Do that, apply that in your life and you will get rid of your toxic beliefs that might be making you miserable without you even realizing and it will lead to some uh, new updated better and good belief. I'm going to see you next time in the next podcast. Bye for now.